On this episode of Lawn Stars, Big Mo talks raccoons. Ooh wee! Big Mo, welcome to the Lawn Stars, guys and gals. Oh, I tell you, I was mowing a yard yesterday for this nice little old lady, and hey, there's, there she is. Not the nice little old lady, but you know, whoa, it's Daisy, of course. Say hi to the people, Daisy. Say hi. Okay. Anyway, yesterday I was mowing the yard for this nice little old lady, and she had this trap, an animal trap on her front porch, her little front porch there. And uh, the guy, this guy that was catching it, these creatures for her, he um, brought it back. You know, he, he had caught one. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And he brought it back and he was supposed to set the trap and set it around back and do the stuff, do all the stuff. And he didn't, he just set it on the front porch. So she asked me if I could set it around back and then set it. And I was like, well, I can't, you know, set the trap, but I will carry it around there for you. You know, so uh, I did that. And you may ask, pray tell, what creature was she catching? Well, it was raccoons. Yeah, she had a raccoon problem or a raccoon dilemma as one might say. Uh, so the, yeah, these raccoons were getting in her house and just wreaking havoc, you know? So what I wanna know from the, in the comments, I wanna know from you in the comments, I, I would like you to tell me, uh, what is this world coming to? Would you, would you let me know? Why does everything have to be so complicated? Back in the good old days, uh, you know, if you had had some kind of a a problem with some kind of wild animal, you know, and it was around your house, you know, just pew pew. End of discussion, problem over, you know. Well, those la those days, ladies and gentlemen, are long gone. Uh, everything is, like I said, red, red tape and, and just stupidity going on. Yeah, well, she had two, two options with this guy that was catching these raccoons for her. She could, uh, they, they would take it, you know, she'd pay him a big old bunch of money to take it and have it euthanized. And they had to cut its head off and they had to test it for rabies and they had to run all kinds of tests. And it was, it cost her a small fortune, <laughs> basically to get rid of this damn raccoon, you know? Or she could take the uh, kinder and gentler option and have him pay, pay also a, a big sum of money and have him drive it to Knoxville to release it into a wildlife sanctuary. Oh man. People back in the day, man, people back in the day would look at what we do in society and look at how we do things and look how screwed up everything is, okay? And they would just scratch their head and probably uh, wring your neck or something. <laughs> it was just uh, idiotic how things are nowadays anyway i'm tired of this rant i shall now go to work and you you can come along with me if you want <laughs> and uh let's go mow and then i'll get back with you afterwards and uh we'll do something i don't know what but let's find out together let's go mo come on come on here is the uh sg ninja right here he's famous i mean you could tell by the uh youtube and all the uh accoutrement on his truck uh very famous guy so i thought you might want to see him i don't know why he doesn't have a trailer on with a mower or anything but uh you know he's up to something
yeah as you could see that's it for that yard for this year it's just knocking a little fuzz off the top doing a few leaves jr and i have to get that trailer full of stuff taken to the dump this week i've got to get that gone because as you could see the banana plants are going kaput and they're going to have to be put on that trailer along with other people's banana plants so i gotta have room to do it and it's stacked high as i can get it right now so gotta get that done but uh guys and gals have you ever uh when you're out there do you have uh, have any stories of uh encountering wildlife you know when you're out mowing you know i say stuff all the time you know we'll be we could be mowing and see deer come running through or turkeys usually see those a lot um when i used to do the airport that i've talked about before we used to do this little airport and uh you'd go way out that runway and you'd see all kinds of crazy stuff had an encounter with a a coyote that was uh being weird out there and so yeah have you had any encounters with uh you know wildlife when you're out mine i'm sure you have uh but the raccoon thing that we were talking about earlier it reminded me of um i was over in this nice neighborhood and uh i see this raccoon and it's just acting weird you know it's acting very strange staggering around and just uh you know you could tell something's wrong with this raccoon it wasn't acting like a normal raccoon so i called uh whoever i called some kind of animal control place i looked up and uh called him and said hey there's this raccoon out here i was a little worried about it because there's kids that uh live right around there and one could come out and that thing could bite them and give them rabies or something i was pretty sure it had rabies or something was wrong with it and uh so they came out and they chased it around back and then I had to leave at some point and I never did see them come out. So I don't know if they caught it or not, but yeah, that's a little scary, you know, when you have uh, some kind of animal life that uh, could have rabies or something. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any uh, interesting stories about wild animals while you're mowing. I guess that's about it for this vid video and uh hope you guys stay safe the rest of the week and uh you know continue to drink your water take your vitamins and do all the right things to take care of you and until next time big mo signing off Boo!